That's 14 inches. I don't have a seven inch frying pan. So I've been in bed for the last week with a cold. It's not been very productive for me. I've been dosing up, I've had some honey. I've watched the whole first series of Star Trek Discovery, which I would highly recommend. It's very different to the Star Trek you know, but that's what I like about it. And I haven't really been doing that much more. But what I will say is I've had enough of this bed. I've literally slept the whole week. So taking a break is a good thing, but that's not what I want to talk about in this vlog. So today I want to make some pancakes, and the reason for that is to reward myself for losing half a stone. And if you're wondering what that is in American, that's seven pounds. So in a previous video, I've talked about setting goals and sticking to them and having focus and kind of like working your way towards them. But I haven't talked about the small goals in between, or the little milestones. Like now, I've lost half a stone, which is half of what I wanted to lose. I originally wanted to lose just over a stone, and now I've reached that goal, I want to reward myself. So I've been eating lettuce, salad, I've been meat-free. I would admit I've not been completely meat-free, but I have tried, really, really tried. I've enjoyed it as well. Um, don't feel so bloated. And um, obviously it's doing something good. But you've got to have fun along the way. So when you set goals and things that take a long time to reach, you've got to have these little milestones in between to reward yourself. And there's an argument for and against that. And if you didn't do that, you'd lose interest, you'd get stressed out, and it may even take longer. By having rewards along the way, you are motivating yourself, you're propelling yourself forward. It's refreshing the journey that you have decided to take on the way to the overall journey. And then every milestone feels like an achievement. And this washing machine is really, really loud, so let's make some pancakes. So the instructions say, gently shake the bottle to loosen the mix and remove the cap. Okay. The cap's not coming off. It's not taking the cap off by shaking it, is it? Oh, and remove the cap. Stupid boy. <laughs> okay. Gently shake the bottle to loosen the mix and remove the cap. Okay, right. Ugh, that smells horrible. Mmm, <laughs> okay. Add 290 mils of cold water. The water should be in line with the dashed fill line. Okay. There's 250. There's no fill line on here at all. Ah, there it is. It's right there. Perfect. Right, replace the... Replace the... And shake the bottle for approximately two minutes. Okay, sunflower oil. That should be enough. Okay, that should be hot enough. I'm gonna give this one last shake. There we go. Here we go, hope I don't add too much. <laughs> that should be enough. And how is there a lump in there? That doesn't even make any sense. Let's get rid of that quickly. No lumps. Come on, stupid thing. No! <laughs> no! Oh, that's way too much. All right, okay. This is actually... I haven't put enough in there, have I? There's not enough in there. Seriously, dude. Come on. Get the program. It's always the first one that never goes right. So, this is just a practice run. No, this isn't going to work, is it? <laughs> And this isn't even a cheap pan, okay? Right, we're gonna do away with this one because this did not work, obviously. I'm gonna put some more oil in. They lied. Look at that, lovely. <laughs> I 
Okay, round two. So I'm gonna use more oil this time. I don't get how there's lumps in there. Never mind. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Twenty seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the top forty. This week's number one is going to be that one. Then proceed to put some lemon juice on top. And being so British, I'm gonna put some sugar on it as well. Just enough. Just remember, this is a reward. I've lost a bit of weight, so I'm gonna help this. Okay, now I'll do. Okay, so I think the secret to making good pancakes is a hot pan. That's it. And some lemon and some sugar. Delicious. <laughs> 